Students in our area are going around with wagons, asking all of us to give to the wagon drive. The goal this year is bigger than ever. The hope is to provide 300 kids with school supplies ahead of the school year. Here to share with how we can all help is Lily Fowler and Nyla L. Tahir. They'll both be seniors at West High this year. Lily, why don't we start with you? Tell us how this all started. So basically like 10 years ago I was sitting in church and the pastor said something about how many kids needed help and how some families had to choose between buying food or school supplies when the school year came around. So like me and my little like six year old brain was like, <laughs> can we like walk up to doors and ask people for food or like school supplies? And we decided that it may be easier to have an actual event somewhere where people could drop stuff off and then that's kind of how the whole like event day was born. Not, can when you think about <laughs> this going for ten years, Nyla, and you've been involved for mm -hmm. most of those years, I mean that is that's from going from what like first, second grade to now. <laughs> Do you remember when this first started, and, and did you ever think it would get to help, trying to help three hundred kids? I mean that's amazing. Oh, I'm sure I didn't think about it at that <laughs> age, but um, yeah, we started when we were really young and have been both involved the whole time. What kept you involved for ten years? Um, just the fact that we like started it together so mm -hmm. then we just continued year after year and uh, different neighborhood kids come and go but we've been pretty <laughs> consistent. Yeah. Yeah. Over the years have you guys been able to talk to the students who are getting some of these supplies? How thankful are they? Um, we don't get to talk to most of them normally but we have to talk to like the social workers we work through them and they're always really thankful or sometimes we like run into kids like while we're like handing out the supplies or sorting them at like specific places and they'll be like oh like you guys are the ones where we get this from like thanks want to talk a little bit about uh, we have some stuff that you guys brought some examples of what you need there's backpacks school supplies now like, can you talk a little bit about maybe some stuff that we are or not seeing here that you would love people to bring yeah so we collect every type of school supply anything that's available um, to people to bring and we also collect um, toiletries and food at the actual event um, the toiletries are for the road home and the food we um, put in the wagons the day of and um, wheel it to um, our local church that has a food pantry so that's awesome and we're trying to help how many students this year 300 wow, that's bigger than previous years yeah. right mm -hmm. and then we're also giving like extra school supplies to the schools as well awesome so. well thank you girls for doing what you're doing we want to remind people where you can actually help and give you can head over there's a collection event next weekend this is saturday july 28th so plenty of time folks to grab those school supplies grab the toiletries grab the food and that goes from 9 a.m to 2 p.m over at franklin elementary school i've been able to drop some stuff off it's an awesome event you guys rock thank you for waking up this early too <laughs> thank you for having us yeah. of course all right thanks